Hi guys. So how would I go about making connections and developing professional relationships? Well, first of all, I am a performing arts student, so confidence is something that I'm not sure of. I've also done my own theatre company now since second year, so I've had my fair share of business meetings. I think the most important thing is to be passionate. If you're not passionate about what it is you're selling, then how can you expect somebody else to be? But I also think it's important to be yourself. After all, nobody wants an Alan Sugar impersonator that's actually just graduated university. So to sum up, be passionate, be yourself, and if that doesn't work, maybe try a bit of jazz hands. So, being a student union sabbatical does have its responsibilities and pressures. Luckily, that's something that I'm not afraid of, and I'm also kind of used to. Like I said before, I have run my own theatre company for a while now, so one of the first things that I had to get to grips with was money. I've had to learn to scrutinise my own finances and work on a small, sometimes minuscule budget to make sure that I don't get into debt. I've also had to have a working knowledge of law, mainly around theatre and business. I will keep researching and make sure that I have all the knowledge to be the best possible candidate for your representation or cervical. And you know that's what I love can do. In this crazy well, if I'm elected, one of the most important things to me is making sure that every student knows who their cervicals are. More importantly, that every student feels comfortable approaching us with anything at any time. Now I want to be out and about, chatting to you guys regularly across all the campuses and just finding out what it is that you want. I want you to know who I am and I want to know who you are. So if there's anything that you want me to get for you, I promise I will do it to the best of my ability. Whether you've got a genuine grievance with your course, whether you want new equipment or whether you just want dancing clowns outside when you arrive at uni, if it's possible, I'll get it for you. And in this crazy life, and through these crazy times, it's you, it's you. The student union sabbatical roles are very important, and as such, I think that anybody that does these roles should be open to scrutiny. Now, I don't have a problem with that. In fact, I welcome constructive criticism, and if I'm elected, I'll gladly take on board any suggestions you have on how I can do my job better. As for positive outcomes, I recently got one of my own shows to be performed at the Sand Centre. This took a lot of determination, months of planning, and but more importantly, a never say die attitude. And it's this attitude that I want to bring to the sabbatical role. So la, 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 la. So what makes me a good leader? I'm determined, I'm confident, and I'm not afraid to ask difficult questions. I'm also willing to listen to anyone's opinions on anything before I make an informed decision. In the past, I've led college councils, I've chaired debates, and I've also had the privilege to interview actual politicians. This shows I'm not afraid to ask difficult questions, and also, I don't mind asking tricky questions with my own superiors. You're, a fallen star. you're the getaway car, you're the line in the sand. When I go too far, you're a swimming pool. Passionate, determined, and approachable. To say. And you play a card, but it's kind of cute. 